welcome students today we are going to discuss a very interesting question from the topic permutations here question is find the value of r if 5 p r is equal to 6 p r minus 1 okay so let us try to find out the value of r for solving this question we will use the formula of permutation which is n p r is equal to n factorial by n minus r whole factorial in the previous videos we have discussed so many times about factorial notations so you can understand it very easily okay so let us solve it here we have 5 p r is equal to 6 p r minus 1 okay by using this formula here this left hand side 5 p r can be written as 5 factorial by 5 minus r whole factorial okay uh, similarly the right hand side is 6 factorial by 6 minus r minus 1 whole factorial now we will simplify it further this is 5 factorial by 5 minus r whole factorial is equal to this 6 factorial can be written as 6 into 5 factorial how we can uh, write like this because in 5 factorials we are having all multiplications 1 2 3 4 5 continued up to 6 here so this is 6 factorial very easily and here denominator is 6 minus 1 is sorry 6 plus 1 is 7 so 7 minus r whole factorial okay this 5 factorial will be cancel out from the numerator in the both sides so finally we are getting this is 1 by 5 minus r whole factorial this is equal to 6 by similarly this 7 minus r whole factorial can be written as 7 minus r into 6 minus r into 5 minus r whole factorial i hope you have understood it because in 5 minus r factorial we are having all multiplication starting from 1 2 2 3 4 up to 5 minus r and another factor is 6 minus r and 7 minus r so this is a continuation of product 1 2 3 4 up to 7 minus r so this is nothing but 7 minus r whole factorial fine so what is the benefit of expansion like this 7 5 minus r factorial be cancel out from both the sides so in denominator we are getting 1 now by cross multiplication we will get or 7 minus r into 6 minus r this is equal to 6 correct now we can find out the value of r from here we are having two methods here first method we will multiply these two factors 7 minus r and 6 minus r which will be r square minus 13r plus 42 and we will solve this quadratic equation and we will get the value of r another very simple method is that this 6 can be written as 3 into 2 we can solve it very easily we can get the value of r very easily okay so here 7 minus r and 6 minus r both will be integers because in the factorial notation that is a multiplication of positive integers so these are integers and uh, importantly these are continued uh, integers this is 7 minus r and if you decrease by 1 subtract by 1 it will be 6 minus r so this is to consecutive integers okay the same thing is here also 3 and 2 are two consecutive integers so by comparing these two sides we can write here that 7 minus r is equal to 3 will not take 2 here because 7 minus r is greater then 6 minus r so we are taking the greater value 3 here so we can solve this uh, given expression very easily so we will get here by transposing this r to another side so r is equal to 7 minus 3 this is equal to 4 so therefore we are getting the value of r here this value is 4 and this is the answer here we were required to get the value of r and we got the value of r which is 4 so very interestingly we can understand this problem and solve it very easily nice
ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट